Hi, my name is Caroline. I'm the Ag Educator at CC of Yates County. And today we're in my orchard. Um, it's a little windy up here. It's one reason we chose this site. And I just want to do a quick video on apple pruning because it's something I get a lot of questions on. So right here we have one of my favorite types of apple trees. It's called a keepsake. It's a wonderful heirloom with just delicious fruit. Um, and it obviously needs a little bit of a haircut. Now when I'm pruning, I am looking for a few different things to remove. And I call those the four Ds. There's diseased, damaged, dead, and then difficult, which is things that are going to cause trouble later in the season. So looking at this tree, we've got a few things to remove. I don't have a lot of dead on here because it's a really young, vibrant tree. But I do have some spots which are difficult. Uh, these branches are crossing here. This will be a problem later in the season, and this is gonna put a, the energy, the tree really needs to go into fruit production not into this sprout. Another thing you can see up here is a mummy. This is a fruit that has obviously had some damage and I should have removed it in the fall, but it has a little disease. So this will count as our disease pressure. Um, take these out of your, uh, off your trees and remove them from your orchard uh, to reduce your inoculum for the year, which is what's gonna cause problems at the beginning of the year with disease pressure. So I've got a few more here. Um, difficult, what I'm looking for is opening this tree up and giving, having it have strong scaffolds. This is still a pretty young tree. I'm not gonna do too much to it this year, but I don't want crossing branches. So we'll take out this one. And I also wanna open it up. And somebody said you want your tree, a grown apple tree, with enough airflow and space in between the branches you can throw a cow through it. This is still a little small for that, so we're, we're gonna talk kind of maybe small sheep size through it. But I'm gonna take off anything that's kind of in the tree growing inwards because the tree's gonna put a lot of energy into producing these with leaves and feeding them, but they're not gonna um, be able to photosynthesize well, so they're really inefficient branches. Uh, so I'm gonna take a quick break, a little bit of kitchen magic. We're gonna finish printing this tree and I'll show you the end result. Okay, so here we have the tree after a light prune. Um, as I said, it's still a fairly young tree, so we're not doing a real heavy prune on it. A uh, couple things to note, you can see we've also attached something to this to pull this branch down because this was a very tight angle, but this is a very nice branch. You, uh, in general, when you have a tree and you're pruning it and training it, you really want the angles, your crotch angles, at about 90 degrees, or close as you can. It's not going to be perfect. We're dealing with living, living uh, plant hold, material. And um, you can see we've really opened up in the center. So all the photosynthesis of the plant's gonna be taking place where there's not a lot of competition from, in, in, from other branches. Um, I could almost fit my five-year-old through this. Let's see, yep, so there's plenty of space. <laughs> Is that funny? Um, and you'll notice that when we do cuts, we're doing them just a little bit up from the collar. This is not perfect, I'm not a pro at this, but um, the benefit of this is this collar is where it'll heal over really well. You don't want a big stub out to here, but you also don't want it really flush and cut into the collar. Uh, pruning is really more, it's an art and a science, and there are a lot of different opinions, kind of like making bread or soup or a million other things. So I recommend going on uh, YouTube, watching some videos, and then going out and trying it yourself. If you are pruning an older tree that hasn't been pruned in quite a while, I recommend doing a little bit each year. You don't want to shock the tree by taking off 70% of its branches in one go. So in trees, I generally try to take maybe 20 to 30% off in a year, but not more than that. Um, and that's for an active, vigorous growing tree. So I hope that's help. Um, we're almost, it's been such an early spring, we're almost past pruning season, but we should have another week or so until they really bud out. So good luck and happy pruning.